Hey, hey, how's it going? We have some more Fire Emblem Three Hopes time. I gotta go do a couple training things. Well, not really a couple, just one time. Just one. We only have one point for it. Train, uh... You know what? Let's just go with what we got. Uh, I can always just do training off screen. Here we go. Train, uh, diligent trainee. Yeah. Dude, freaking Happy's so dead. <laughs> she was dead, dude. Oh, I probably should have switched something for Happy. Whoops. Okay, whatever. It's fine. Hey, new power. All right. Nice. Good job, Chez. This will help everyone out. Yes, it definitely will. Even though I think healing training in this game is trash. I think it's You'll honestly pretty garbage. Like, I, I, have no, I have barely found a use for it. Okay, let's do uh, Chore Can Master real quick. Expand facility. We can do that. Uh, what do we got? In uh, slightly increases chance of successfully cooking a meal. Okay, I don't think we've messed up so far, but we might as well. Here we go. Recreation quarter developer. Woohoo! We're doing it, everybody. We're becoming a good cook. Okay, I just want to, like, waste up all my activity points because we're going to do the main mission in today's episode, hopefully. So let's do organized documents. We have yet to do this. We can do Sylvain and Annette, I guess, because Petra would be bad because the the other two can't support. Well, whatever. Let's just do this. Here we go. Do do do. Oh, no, we have done this, haven't we? Or was this in the trailer? I don't know. Yeah, we've got this. Yeah, look at me, just standing here. Okay, never mind. She's like supposed to be moving things, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's give it our best. Sylvain, you are dusting nothing. <laughs> Whatever. I don't. I don't want to bully the freaking limitations of the we game, you know. Okay. Uh, let's do facility can be expanded. Ward is available. Yeah, let's get both those done real fast. We do have a bonus map to do before we get into today's uh, regular map, so we're gonna do that first. Secret transport force. Here we go. B level. Oh my gosh. Grants one to your advantage against swords. Okay, this is Anna's secret weapon in her eternal effort to maintain the highest profit margins. Interesting. Worked real hard, but it's put to good use. Yeah, we have uh, quite a few more to actually get, but whatever. Who do we give this to? Probably Dimitri? Or wait, no, it's good against... What is it good against? Lances? Was that what it was? Oh, I don't think any of us can even use it. It's locked. Maybe it's locked to like an advanced class. Maybe our charm does only, is like uh, increased with a class or something. I don't actually know. Okay, let's expand a facility. Uh, blacksmith versus Battalion Guild. Let's go for Blacksmith. This one allows level D weapons to be repaired. Yes, this is good. Let's do this. Boop. Done. And slightly increases the might gained by forging weapons. Uh, durability. I think durability is better than might. Because then you can uh, use more combat arts. And combat arts are good. Forge related facility uh, effects. Okay. Yeah, this seems... Whatever. That seems pretty... Uh, it, pretty easy to figure out. Wait, hold on, there were still more! I guess I could still do the Battalion Guild. Uh, what do we even want to do? This or this? Slightly reduces the cost or slightly increases endurance? Endurance. Endurance 100% of the time. We have plenty of gold, dude. We have so much gold. We, I have so much gold, I don't even know what to do with it. Okay, now that we're done with that, we can go do our bonus map, and then it's time for the actual map. Here we go. Unexpected encounter. Let's do it. Yes, we're out the enemy. None. Okay, flight route. Oh, okay, for Pegasus Knights, gotcha. Um, will I need it? Probably not. I don't think I will. I don't think I'll need it. Whatever. I still, I still got Ingrid in anyway. We will win. I'm sure of it. Uh, I can't see. <laughs> All right, come here, Felix. I want you. Uh, oh, oh, geez. I just realized there's freaking archers here. Maybe it wasn't the best idea to bring Ingrid. Oh my goodness. There's so many archers. What the frick? Why introduce the flight route chapter while bringing archers into- Oh my gosh, I hate fighting archers. You know, you remember how I said in the last episode how I thought archer was the worst class? I meant to play as. Going up against archers sucks because they have so much range. Oh my gosh, there's so many- There's so many units here, what the frick? Why are there so many units? Yes, the two of you going crazy. Thief! Oh, with the teleport! I love the thief class, dude. Thief the thief? Oh my gosh, how have I not made that joke before? <laughs> thief the thief! That's so stupid. Okay, good job, Chez. What are we thinking? Are they all dead? Oh, that, they're all dead. 100%. That was so good. That was freaking amazing. Okay, let's see. Dimitri, I want you to take out that archer down there because I don't feel like going after him. 91 to 9%. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Okay, what about Ingrid? Is she near any archers? Okay, thank goodness she is not. She can take out that Peggy Knight. Sure, go for it. Actually, let's play as Ingrid for a sec. Here we go. Uh, get me off the Pegasus Knight, actually. I don't like playing on the Pegasus Knight. <laughs> I just, I don't know what it is. I don't like playing on mounted classes. I think it's, like, kind of annoying. I don't know. Burning quick, go for it. Boom! Oh, that's so cool looking. Yes. Ingrid, honestly, high key, really fun to play as because she freezes enemies. Whenever she knocks an enemy into the air, when they fall back down, she freezes them. I don't know. She's just really fun to play as. She can do, like, really interesting combos. It feels like her range is good. I don't know. I don't really know how to describe it. She just feels very fun to play as. 
um, specifically in the Pegasus Knight class. And just like, she has like Icy Plunge and all this stuff that just like kind of goes hand in hand together. Wait, what? A Golem? No. No, is that what I think it is? Is it one of those freaking statues? No way. It is! A freaking statue! What the frick are you doing here, bro? I don't have anything for him either. That sucks. Oh, no, I do. Dimitri, get over here. I need you, buddy. I need your skills. Why is there a freaking golem? What the frick? Ew, look at the way it moves. Ew. Oh, my gosh. I don't like that. <laughs> oh, and he's even weak against lightning. Okay, this is perfect for Dimitri. Oh, this is so perfect. Swinging at Fury. Yes. Oh, this is amazing for Dimitri. Yes, this is so good. Get the lightning done. Yes, armor break. Go down, you stupid golem. Oh. Oh, Dimitri is cleaving through. Oh my gosh, Dimitri. Keep it going. Oh, d you stand no chance against Dimitri. Oh my gosh, he's destroying this golem. He has just obliterated that golem. Oh my gosh. Also, I just noticed that while the, uh, once you defeat their, uh, like one of their health bars, they do like a super attack, but you can't do any damage while they're doing it. So like after you've defeated one of their lives, you have to like wait like five seconds before you can actually attack the golems again, which is... I guess kind of interesting. Ingrid's in trouble. Uh oh, is she fighting a freaking archer? She's probably fighting an archer. Oh dear. Oh no, she's just fighting some default. Okay. Oh, it's a brawler. Oh yeah, brawlers are actually top tier. I think brawlers are like one of the hardest units to go up against because if you get hit by a t their attack, they it does so much. Like for example, a Pegasus Knight attack, they just do like one slash, whatever. But a brawler has like active long hit boxes that last forever, and if you get hit by the entire thing, you take so much damage. But, uh, whereas other, like, enemies, you can just, like, kind of dodge out of their stuff, which makes it so much easier. But brawlers? Uh-uh. They have, like, active hitboxes because they're constantly punching, so they're pretty tough to fight against. Down that guy goes. Who am I even supposed to be fly fighting up here? on? Flight route. Here we go. Boom! Good job, Ingrid. Proud of you. Oh, that's cool. You can do that. Um, what do we even got? Is there anything over here? This is probably where the boss is going to be. We got to defeat this stupid golem first. Hold on. Get the brawler out of here. Golem's right here. Let's just spam on him. Here we go. Blue Tornado Dimitri. Yes. See, look at the Tornado of Lightning. It looks so cool. I love it. That looks so sick. Okay, you're dead. Get him out of here, Dimitri. Yes. He's dead. Oh, wait. That was the mission. We did it. Oh, it was... Never have achieved victory without everyone's help. Okay, why even bother with the flight route then? There was no point in introducing that. That was so... Maybe it's just the map. It's probably just the map. Okay, there we go. S rank. We did good. Won't let yourself stop here. Good job, Shez. I'm proud of you, buddy. And yep, yep, yep. New strength. Table turner. That's How new. Best use this power? Wild abandon. Has anyone else learned that? I don't know if anyone else has learned that. That's interesting. Okay, we got mithril. That's good. But I also got mithril from the amiibo too, so that's a bit interesting. I gotta be. I gotta remember to scan amiibos like a lot, like as much as I can for the future. Well, that was a fun battle. I'm gonna check to make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Seems like we are all good. Wait. Okay. Seems like we're all good. Yeah, I just want to make sure I'm good before I go into the battle. All right, here we go. Magdred Way, the Battle of Magdred. Lord Lenato has raised an army in the rebellion against the kingdom. Your forces march through the fog to strike down the traitorous lord and the imperial troops at his back. Okay, I wonder how the fog is going to work in this game. A little nervous to see what it's going to be about, but here we go. The Battle of Magdred. It's time. After the last two years with Dimitri, I thought we'd seen every battlefield there is to see in Fargus. But? But Magdred Way, huh? This one's new. Oh, is this the map that I was just on? This is pretty. Uh, a little foggy, don't you think? I might even hazard to call it a lot foggy. Okay, well, without the fog, it'll pro it's probably very pretty. You've never fought in conditions like these, so you do well to keep what wits you have about you. I like how it says there there's fog, yet there's clearly no fog in this dialogue. At least now. In the battle, there probably will be. If you're not careful in this fog, you could find yourself walking straight off a cliff. Horrible way to go, if you ask me. <laughs> Come on, you're not my mom. I can handle myself. <laughs> wow. Look who woke up on the confidence side of the bed. If that's how you feel, maybe you don't even need my help anymore. Hey, listen, buddy. I'm in a cab class. I'm not in the Fluego class. I don't need your help. <laughs> uh, no, I'll back off a little. Uh, I like Arvel. I'll be oh, nice. come on. It was a joke. Don't be so sensitive. You know I appreciate you. Aw. <sighs> Fine. But in case you forgot, if you die, I go with you. Our fates are intertwined. You don't have divine pulse, yikes. So no doing anything too reckless out there. You understand? Now come on, let's go. 
Okay then. Well, that was interesting enough. Okay, well. Oh dear. Persuade Dorothea, that's first. We always want to persuade if we can. Are there any other persuades? Okay, there are not. Uh, torch, improving visibility in the fog. Yes. Freaking yes. Okay, Resonant Ward. Conjure a magic shield that reduces damage from incoming magic attacks. Okay, these two we got from all the missions that we were doing up to this point. So, what are the others? Summon a flying unit? Who cares? Assign healers? No. Built up? No. We'll, we'll do the Resonant Ward. Because uh, I don't know what that'll do. Maybe they'll have, like, mages that, like, fr that attack from afar. I don't really know. Either way, though, this is a big map, so let's get ready for it. Okay, I think I'm going to go in with this team. Seems pretty okay. We got Ash, Shez, Annette, and Dimitri all in their sort of regular classes except for Shez, because whatever. And I put Dimitri back in, like, High Lord so he can have the Arid Bar. All right, let's do this. Here we go. Fog of War. Again. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> Freaking no Lenato. Our enemies might be lurking in this fog. Okay. Get ready for potential ambushes. All right, all right. So where is Ash? Not Felix, sorry. <laughs> Whatever, you know what? I'll take Felix. Yes, okay, that's what we need to do. Main mission start, cool. That's what we're gonna do, Dimitri, as long as I can get off this horse, actually. Okay, yes, Lord Lenato, everybody's favorite. Didn't we bring torches? We did, yes. Will that help us? Strike torch, yes, please. Will it help? Initiate strategy. And torch increased your visibility. Uh no it didn't. Way better now. This will make moving around a lot easier too. Maybe it's already like okay. Yeah, this seems like okay. Like it hasn't really been that bad. I imagine like it was probably really bad <laughs> earlier. Um here we go. Let me uh pair up with Mercy, I guess. I wanted a net, but whatever. I keep getting the wrong person. Okay, let's just um, seize the strongholds. Yes, that's what we gotta do. The dude is striking. Yes, okay. I ordered like everybody to do everything basically, so we should be pretty efficient right now. This stronghold captain's about to go down, so that'll be one down, two to go. Very cool. Yeah, not personal. Yeah, okay. I'm hoping that Dimitri and the others will be able to handle it by themselves because I don't really feel like capturing a ton of forts. I think I'm just gonna beat up a ton of soldiers in the way. That way I can get my uh, freaking enemy count done. Dang, this soldier will not, there we go. I was hoping you would like get the critical gauge open soon, but there we go. It happened, so now I can just kind of destroy. Soldiers down, yes, go crazy, Shez. What is that icon over there? What is that? What am I noticing? Is that something that I'm effective against? Who is that? Oh, that's my captain, okay. <laughs> What? Oh, the militia? Jeez, Felix, that's how you respond? Oh, look at these lambs to the slaughter. Let's just murder them. Jeez, Felix. <laughs> I knew you were ruthless sometimes, but my goodness, you really are. Let's go. Oh, Shez got that money, dude. <laughs> I forgot that I can move the camera while specials are happening. There we go. Good job. Very nice job. Okay. What are we looking at next? Uh, Annette? Oh, we're about to take out this mercenary. Here we go. Freaking go down. Actually, let me uh, recover you. There we go. Because recover is very good. Even though I can... <laughs> that's the only freaking combat art I could use this entire time. Dude, that sucks. What? Oh, I'm frozen. I was like, why am I not moving? <laughs> Ambushes. Okay, you got it, Dimitri. Violet? Oh, no. They hired Violet. There's no way. Oh, my gosh. Defeat Violet? I was not expecting that! Wait, Bi D Edelgard has Byleth? Run! No! Run, 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 don't fight Byleth. Oh my god. Byleth is? Oh my gosh, of course they are. <laughs> of course Byleth is holding back. Oh my gosh. Do we have to defeat Byleth? I guess we do. Maybe, yeah, they're, maybe, they're not at 100% strength, so we should be fine. Even though I'm not in the Fuego class, I wish I was, because dang, dude, that would be so freaking epic. But whatever, it just it wasn't meant to be. Hopefully, after we defeat Violet, the fog might go away. Because I think in like Lenato's chapter, there was something to make the fog go away. So either way, it's time. I have the weapon triangle advantage now, Violet. Let's do this. Oh, her critical gauge does not appear. She doesn't have one. She just doesn't. She straight up doesn't have one. Oh my gosh, how am I supposed to beat her? Oh, never mind. She does. Okay, yeah, go down, Byleth. Ow. Okay, she's actually pretty tough, though. Oh my gosh, she's so hard. She just, like, doesn't... Miklon? Miklon, too? How many people are gonna... Dorothea, Miklon... I know Dorothea's coming because we have the recruit thing, but jeez. Looks like I'm late. 
Guess I'll get working on my orders. Miklon, Lanato, Violet, the whole gang. What the frick? So my brother's joining us. Looks like his majesty really pulled out all the stops. Oh wait, he's an ally! He's an ally, so what? We must be giving these mercenaries their orders. We are going to fight. Miklon can handle things on his own. Will he handle Violet? Find Gerald. And de find a defeat! Defeat Gerald? Oh my gosh. They have reinforcements, but it doesn't change much. We know what we have to do. All that's left is to do it. This feels so weird. Are you seriously going to sit back and let someone else handle the Ashen Demon for you? Yes. They're so strong. She's way too strong right now. Face and defeat both. Not now. Not now. Jeez, not now. She's way too freaking strong. I can barely hit her. Jarrett was not spotted at the forest camp. Okay. Not rev the target designation. Right, is he there? Not spotted in the crooked high road. Okay. We're just trying to spot him. We're, we're not, we've got to find him first before we do anything else. Gerald was not spotted there. I thought that said Seth. Alois and oh my gosh, everybody. Why is everybody here? Wait, he's with Gerald? I may be new to Gerald's band, but my only hope is that I don't get you all killed. That funeral would truly be a grave affair. He's, okay, funny. Uh, he's not? What the heck? He's with Gerald, which I guess makes sense, but still. Oh, wait, there he is. Oh, that's Gerald. There he is. Found him. Gerald, the blade breaker. Gerald Eisner. It was Eisner. only a matter of time till they found us. Let's give them a nice, warm welcome. Oh, my gosh. He's got so many goons, dude. <laughs> I can't believe he got Alois. That's actually pretty cool. All right, down. Or die, down, Gerald. Die, Gerald. Here we go. Gerald should be easy because I have the cab effective weapon. Thank goodness I have this weapon. Oh, my gosh. This fight would be probably pretty tough if I didn't have this. Oh my gosh, I'm destroying him! You stand no chance, Gerald! Oh my gosh! I'm obliterating him! He doesn't stand a chance! He can't do anything! He's defenseless! He is defenseless against me! Wait, is this gonna be... If I defeat Gerald, does that mean the game's over? Surely not. We still have to kill Anato. <laughs> that or get off your horse! Maybe then you'll be okay, dude! Miklon fell already? You hear me? Okay, well, thanks for your help, I guess. Dang. Well, I guess you were helpful for something. Jeez, why is he so ugly, dude? <laughs> I'm sorry, that's so mean. He's so ugly. <laughs> I know it's just because he's a villain design, so it's like, whatever. All right, Gerald's gone. Down he goes. See ya! Defeated Gerald. There we go. Alois, you're next. Come here, dude. Oh, wait, no. Shoot. Oh, shoot, yes, good job. Okay, there we go. Gerald's mercenaries retreated. Awesome. Now I just gotta defeat Alois. I thought I had armor effective then. Oh, goodbye, Violet. See ya. Violet retreated. Alois will stay though? Maybe? Failed to defeat Violet. How was I supposed to, bro? Literally, how on earth was I supposed to defeat Violet? Oh, what? I'm defeating you the. Okay, fine. See ya, loser. Jeez. <laughs> What the freak? You wanted me to defeat both of them? Why? That's such a waste of time. Auxiliary units? Oh. Yay. Uh-oh. Yeah. Can we do something about it? Why does it make the Kingdom General say that? Why couldn't anyone else say that? Okay. Find and defeat the that guy. just have to cut those mages down. If they're the ones in working this far, defeating them should dispel it. Yeah, one would think. Demetrius sees the overgrown trail. Good job, Demetrius. I'm proud of you, dude. You did that all without me having to uh, ask for help. Okay. Where are we at right now? Oh my gosh. We gotta recap. I know Lenato's probably gonna be like in the top left, but I need you to, ca to get this chest right now, Ash. That's what you need to do right now before anything else. Found a mercenary, but didn't spot. What? Okay. I don't know what that said. <laughs> Found us something. Okay, I'm trying to find the freaking uh, mercenary before anything else, the mage one. Okay, yeah, Lenato's gonna be up there. Cool, that's awesome. Ash, open a chest, cool. Okay, I don't know what's happening. I'm gonna like shadow flash down here if I can. Here we go, warp time. Let's warp down here. Shnoom, whew. I love that, I literally love that you can do that so much. That's so cool. Here we go, down goes these mercs. Mm-hmm, there we go. Okay, we're doing good. We've defeated lots of mercs. I want to get rid of Felix. Sorry, Fief. But I need Annette right now because she has magic. Yo. Yo, team up with me. 
Team up with me. Why can't you team up with me? Oh, it's because she's already teamed up with Ingrid. I'm stupid. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Get rid of Ingrid. I'm so stupid. I should have. I should have noticed that earlier. You can hear birds, bro. You can hear freaking birds. That's so cool. Cheap, cheap. That's so cute. Oh, we found a general. Let's go. Spot the gas bar general. Yes. Here we go. Now let's just murder him. Yeah, the freaking default mage. Kill him, Dimitri. Oh, he's almost dead. Oh, he's so weak. He's so weak, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's dead. He's freaking dead. Let's go, Dimitri. Yes. There we go. That was so good. Okay, now I'll be able to see. The rest falls to you, Lord Lenato. Lord Lenato. <laughs> okay, we did it. Oh, it's pretty. Yes, it's so pretty now. Get that nasty fog. Did it. Yes. Oh. The time for subterfuge has passed. We shall meet now in honest combat. Oh, yeah, honest combat after you hired mercs and had everybody do your dirty work for you. All right, time to defeat Lenato. Here we go. Yes. Victory will be ours, Lenato. Come, everyone. We will overwhelm our foes. Oh, yeah, I can absolutely... I could obliterate him. I, I guarantee you I could obliterate him with him with Shez, but I want to kill him with Ash because funny. But I'll get a lot of damage done because I have Awakening with Shez as well. I could seriously just obliterate him without even trying because he's on a horse and I have a horse effective weapon. So like, what the heck? I'm, I went to the wrong way. I'm on... You know what? I can warp. He he he. Shadow slide moment. I love that, dude. Unfortunately, only Shez can do it, but it's still freaking cool as heck that you can do that. Oh, Dorothy is in the way. Okay, that's fine. Die. <laughs> what the frick? I don't need to know that she's appeared. Dorothea has appeared. Oh no. But he's done so much to ingratiate himself with the Empire. We can't exactly leave our new friend to die, can we? I mean, you can. Sorry. <laughs> All right, time to absolutely destroy you. Oh, yes, that's right. Awakening says I forgot. Yep, got to get Dorothea out of here first, though. Defeat Dorothea. Oh, no, I can't defeat her yet. Oh, no. Okay, that's right. Wait for it. Here we go. Strategies to persuade. There we go. I got to make sure it's actually... Oh, nice. Thank you, Mercy. I right, persuade her too. Persuade too. Please. Persuade. Resident Ward. Okay, sorry. Wrong thing. Oh my gosh. I was confused for a second. Please. Can the strategy be done? I want to kill Dorothea already. Initiate strategy. Is it done? Okay. It's done. I can now kill Dorothea. There we go. Defeat and recruit. I didn't want to hurt her before it said the thing. There we go. Dorothea. Is she dead yet? She's not dead yet. Okay. Uh, I think I was special. Here we go. Finish it with Awakening Shez, yes! Okay. <laughs> I could have obliterated, but I had to wait for the freaking game to load up before I could even do it. Okay. See ya, Dorothy is gone. Here we go. This will surely help. What what is surrounding me? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> okay, oh my gosh, everyone's about to freaking die. Okay, we gotta we gotta move up here. I don't want to see you die for nothing. Aw, they know. They recognize each I other. I I want that either. All right. You win. That's just so fast. Look at him go. Jeez. Recruit Dorothea. Let's go. Now we have Dorothea. Woohoo. Okay, I wonder who will be able to talk to Dorothea. means to shelter those vile church rats. Then I shall rebuke them to my final breath. Like Alright, time for Lord Lenado. We gotta defeat the messenger first, though, apparently. I don't know why, but we got to, I guess. Oh, Ash, no! We have to do it again in this game, too! Okay, Ash, go! Yes! Destroy him! Yes! There we go! Boom! Ash defeated the messenger. Good job, buddy. Good job. Okay. Now we're gonna go head up to Lenato. And not a moment too soon. Yes, indeed to do. Man, there's so much left to do on this map, and I want to do it all, but unfortunately I shouldn't. Okay, either way though, it's time to absolutely obliterate Lenato. Let's see. Here he is, Ash versus Lenato. Let's do it. Dun 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 dun. Old guy on a horse. Oh no. Hi, Lenato. I burned far too many bridges to turn back now. Yep, you sure have. Your lance looks like an umbrella that's closed. <laughs> Step aside, Ash. I have a duty I must uphold. Oh no. As do I. The duty of a knight to his kingdom. I'd never betray that. Aw, Ash. He's being a true knight. Let's go, buddy. That's so nice. You like to see that. Okay, is he a great knight? Does that mean uh, Lenato, is Lenato a great knight is what I'm asking? Does that mean the drill arrow is super effective against him? 
I missed. I can't tell. Oh, well. <laughs> Let's get Chez here. Uh, he should be able to actually just, like, stupidly do so much damage. And then we'll have Ash finishing off after Chez just destroys him. Because look at him. He's a freaking cab. He's he's just a breakfast plate waiting to happen. Here we go. Yes. Destroy Lanato. He stands no chance. Yes, go Ash. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. Boom. Big hits. And then swap back to Chez. So that we can just absolutely continue obliterating Lenato, because he stands no chance. Don't die to this, Lenato. I didn't mean to hit you with it. Okay, good. Oh, poor Lenato. Your poor son. Ash goes for the big damage once again. And that's not death. Not quite. Not quite. What about Drill Arrow? Come on. Give it to him. Drill Arrow. There we go. Big hit. Ingrid with the follow-up. And then hopefully the special. We'll finish him off. Come on, Lenato. Your horse. <laughs> the horse just levitates in the air. Is that it? Ash, what do you think? Come on now. Finish your father. That's it. Surely. That's it. Good job, Ash. Forgive your fool of a father, Kristoff, for he is soon to join you. And down he goes. Lenato has died. Not even has been defeated, straight up has died. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, I made you do it again. The just like in the original over. playthrough. A fine effort, everyone. Especially considering the conditions. Yeah. Well, there we go. Run from the corpse, Ash. Don't look at it. Do not look. Guess we did our job, at least. Well, well, doesn't someone sound disappointed? And what's with that look? <sighs> I don't know. We completed our mission and all, but it still feels like we lost somehow. What, was I supposed to defeat Byleth and Aloise for the good ending? Sure, we stopped Lenato, and we put Gerald and his mercenaries to rout. But not before they dragged us through one of the toughest fights we've experienced. And most of all, I failed to take down the Ashen Demon. If that's not a loss, I don't know what is. Wrong! You were hired to do a job, and you did it. And in the process, you've received a valuable reminder about the unique danger the Ashen Demon poses. I guess. Um. Eh. I suppose. You're right. I can't believe one fighter could turn the tide of an entire battle like that. Yeah, they are actually really hard to beat. Like, I, I think I got by like a, a third of the way done. But the thing is, like, I didn't know she would retreat after I beat Gerald. Because the game's like, beat Gerald. Okay, I'm going to beat Gerald. And then I thought I'd have to defeat Aloise and Byleth afterwards, but no, I guess I had to defeat them first? I don't know. I, I, it was a little confusing. Precisely. They're surely going to continue standing in our way, so do try to dig a little deeper the next time you square off. Yeah, you're probably right. Thanks for the chat. Aw, nice. Bye to bye. Have you seen our valiant leader? I wonder where he scampered off to. Good question. Hmm, no Felix or the others in sight either. Maybe they're having a meeting or something. Yeah, well, we're just sitting in here in the middle of a field, all alone, talking to ourselves. <laughs> Sounds like you should try to track them down then. Though, on second thought, it may not be any of your business. Maybe. I don't know. I mean... What? No, surely this... I'm gonna go look for them. They're my friends. I probably shouldn't be sticking my nose into their private matters, but I am pretty curious. Let's go. Um... What, what, what would have happened if I said no? Wait, what? How do we know it's supposed to be their private matters? What if they're just, like, somewhere else? O okay. Um. Ah, frick with the completion time. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. I knew we didn't do too well in the time. It's like the first time you do the map, you don't really know how to do it that well. Okay, well, I am going to probably, like, replay this map off screen. So, like, if anything different happens, I'll use, like, the little this feature, and I'll show you. But, uh, I... I, I'm gonna guess that there's probably nothing different and if, if anything, it'll just be like oh we we fought but like it wasn't I don't know. I, I don't know. They, they retreat or something. I don't know I don't really know what will happen But I'll, I'll see if I can like read the battle off screen where I actually, you know, beat Aloise and freaking uh, Byleth and see if there's anything different that happens But I think for the most part we did like oh all right Woohoo, okay, I forgot about this. Oh Stormblade, that's an interesting new skill. Thunder, good job. Oh, Iron Shield, that'll be helpful. Yes, finally, another shield. Jeez. Okay, lots of uh, stuff. Hooray. 
Okay, 100,000 gold, dude. And Dorothea, woohoo! Definitely gonna use you. <laughs> oh, we'll just wait for Black Eagles or whatever. You did well, Miklana. I will remember the deeds you've performed here today. This is so weird having Miklana as like an ally. Sylvain does not look too happy about it, though. <laughs> you know as well as I that I only did it for the money. Your money. Fair. Hey, Miklon. What's up? That's the man from before. I don't mean to question you, but why exactly are you eavesdropping on them? It looks like they're having an argument. Butting in now would just make things worse. What are you playing at, Boar? This washed up bandit doesn't deserve to look at our army, let alone be a commander in it. Wait, what? He was a commander? I thought he was just like a hired help. It's a decision I made in collaboration with the Margrave. Two years ago, after I ascended the throne, I ordered Gustav to capture him, made him swear his allegiance to the royal family, and gave him a unit of soldiers to command. Wow. Spare me the details of how you did it. What I want to know is why. My army was lacking leaders. We needed capable fighters to fill in the gaps. As for Miklon here, the Margrave himself has instructed him in all manner of military tactics. I've seen his prowess with my own two eyes. Will we actually get to play as him? <sighs> Maybe. In the centuries since the time of King Lug, crests and relics have kept Fargus safe. We've come to depend on that power to protect us from outside attacks and grown all too complacent in its wake. Naturally, we will take full advantage of our hero's relics in the battles ahead with Adrestia. Hero's relics. Oh, did he have the Lance of Ruin? Did he give that to Sylvain? But we cannot protect our home with relics alone. If all who could wield them fell, so too would we. The blood of the heroes is thinner now than ever before. We need men like him among our ranks. I don't doubt the truth of your words. But that's not the issue here. What, is it Sylvain? Do you really think it appropriate to trust a man barely removed from his life as a brigand with the responsibility of command? Everyone's heard the stories of the elder Gautier brother. How he resorted to banditry and plunder. It's so funny how we're all talking about this while he's standing right in front of us and he's just like, Yeah, that, that's me. <laughs> Do you not think our soldiers would object to being led by a man with such history? Reminds me of Hans from Fates. <laughs> command huh it's got a nice ring to it but you should know i'm just a prisoner my attendants my aides my best men all stooges for the royal family breathing down my neck every waking moment all the sleeping moments too no wise remarks sylvain you're standing there mute as if this has nothing to do with you i was one of the first his majesty consulted with there's nothing I could say that I haven't already. I see. I'm sure you can't stand the sight of me, Miklon. But let's see if we can't get along, okay? Huh. <laughs> huh. Anyway, now that we're all caught up, I'll await your next orders, your majesty, sir. Uh-huh. And there he goes. Uh, let me guess. Any means necessary? I won't defend it. Though I do see use in such a man. What he did in his time as a bandit was monstrous, I admit that. And I deserve no small amount of judgment for giving him command in spite of it. But I can't help but wonder. Perhaps his life could have been dramatically different had he only possessed a crest. That is true. This is true. Sylvain had similar thoughts. Same as the uncle I murdered. <sighs> I understand your reasoning, your majesty. Yet he's hurt so many people. What's done is done. Stolen goods may be returned, but stolen lives cannot. If the man is unwilling to atone for his wrongdoings, then he will pay for it with his head. If he does wish to repent, however, then what better way to do so than by risking his life on behalf of our people? That's true. That would be a good way to make him, I don't know, redeem himself, I guess? I am curious to, like, see what will happen to Miklon in the future. If he joins us as a playable unit, uh, then, wow, he'll probably be on our side. But, what happens if he doesn't? That makes you wonder, like, will he betray us later? Maybe? I don't know. If any among us still can't forgive him, by all means, take up your arms and enact vengeance. Don't laugh. <laughs> I get what you're trying to do, but you still should have talked to us first. This isn't about who shoulders what blame. 
It's a matter of letting us know what you're thinking. You're right, Felix. My apologies. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I am. <laughs> Chez? Okay. I don't, know so, I don't know so much if that was private, but it didn't really matter to Shez, I guess. We march on Aryan Road as planned. Like, I like Annette, Mercy, and uh, Ash weren't there either, so. With House Rose military might crippled, seizing the fortress should be a somewhat simpler matter. The Silver Maiden. Can we really take it? Probably. You saw how many troops they've already lost. Just plain math will tell you there can't be that many of them left back at the fortress. At least I sure hope not. Well, the Empire could be there. And I am sure Houses Karen and Geraint would be willing to lend us a few squadrons in return for the aid we provided them. Agreed. And their militaries are both formidable indeed. I'll have to factor their support into our strategies moving forward. Maybe we could get Catherine? Though, didn't Catherine leave to, like, go protect Rey or something? I forget. And what of you, Ash? Will you be joining the fight at Aryan Road? I... Yes, I will. Though, I do appreciate the concern, Your Majesty. Yeah, you doing okay there, buddy? As long as you're sure you can handle it. Do not hesitate to retreat if it becomes too much for you. House Rose forces aside. We now have the added threat of Geralt and his mercenary band to contend with. The very same mercenary band you had been looking for, is it not? Correct. Yeah. One of them in particular, a warrior known as the Ashen Demon, who felled my entire company back before I met you. Not sure I'm looking for revenge, exactly, but I do want to surpass them, no matter what it takes. Let's go, Shez. I see. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Really? I'm sorry. I wasn't really trying to hide it or anything. It just never came up, I guess. I'm surprised it never did, jeez. I believe I understand. Overcoming Gerald and his mercenaries is what drives you in life. So then, what will you do after you've, uh, you know, befriended them? Because apparently we can recruit Byleth or something. Yeah, you could say that. It's the closest thing to a goal I have, for sure. Hmm. Arvel? In any case, those people cannot be taken lightly. I'd like to avoid crossing blades with them as much as we can. Though we'll likely encounter them sooner rather than later. Imperial forces are still encamped in the former Arendelle territory, after all. Right. We'd better be ready for anything. Indeed. Okay, well, there we go. Azure Gleam. Conspiracy in the air. Conspiracy? Hmm. Hmm, what kind of conspiracy? Having laid Lenato low, the kingdom's army proceeds south. Count Roe, who had prior declared fealty to the Empire, surrenders. And Aryan Road falls back into kingdom hands. Let's go, we With did it. With its foothold in the west lost, the Empire amasses troops in the former Arendelle territory to the south prompting the army of Fargus to strike before Adrestia can regain its footing. I see. Is that all? I guess that's all. Okay, yep, I guess we're gonna try and take the Silver Maiden next. Or wait, no, isn't Aryan Road the Silver Maiden? I always freaking forget. It's nice Aryan Road fell with little more than a hand wave, but it's hardly comfortable knowing the enemy is still on our doorstep. Yeah, we're like in very south Fargus, so like we're pretty much right next to the Empire. Comfortable or no, we must take what few chances we do have to rest. Battle will be upon us again before we know it. Not to mention the fortress is still a target. I mean, who wouldn't want their very own impregnable stronghold? Our spies report that the enemy plans to mount such an attack from Arendel land. I see. Arendel, huh? It's been two years since the territory came under the Emperor's control. The wind carries rumors that Edelgard has been keeping Lord Arendelle imprisoned in his home since then. Huh. Imprisoned? Why would she lock up Arendelle? Because it's Talus? If it's true, I'll... I'll... No. You good, Dimitri? Were the enemy to strike and the fortress city to somehow fall, our path forward in this war would grow exceedingly perilous. The West doesn't face the kind of constant threats we do, so there aren't as many strongholds here as in the North, right? Basically. Though my uncle did say that started to change at least a tiny bit in the past couple of years. In other words, the entire Western region of the Kingdom is likely to fall into enemy hands if we retreat from Aryan Road now. Maybe it'll be a defend map? Indeed. Which is exactly why we must take the offensive and restrain this imperial snake before it can sink its fangs into us. Or not. <laughs> like how, look at Annette in the bottom left. She's just like, 
<laughs> she just looks so innocent while Dimitri's like, we must kill this snake. <laughs> and then just Annette's just like, okay. <laughs> hey, it'll be nice to strike first for once. It feels like we've been on the back foot for a while now. Yeah. Right you are. And remaining on perpetual defense would only lead to more meaningless, preventable deaths. I see. Get fired up. That's what I do. I'm stupid. Offense is the best defense, I always say. We'll crush anyone who has the gall to stand against us. There you go, getting carried away again. <laughs> Look at them, all stunned into speechlessness. Hmm? Your Majesty, I've bad terrible news. Soldier, what is it? Calm yourself. What is it? The convoy escorting Count Ro to the capital has been attacked by an unknown assailant. Huh? They've sustained heavy losses, and it seems Count Ro has gone missing amid the chaos. What? I see. And these assailants, we know nothing about them? Are they bandits? Are they the mercenaries? Who would they be? Very little, your majesty. The survivors claim to have been attacked by numerous mages. Mages. Oh, it's the slow than the dark. It's slow than the dark. Mages? No. What's wrong? Do you know who it is? Those who slither. You saw the court mage Cornelia during our battle at Ferdia, yes? Oh, it's her? Well, she disappeared almost immediately after. It's likely she has been burrowed away in Western Fargus ever since. Well, yeah, she's tied to the slitherers, right? Which leads me to wonder if this attack wasn't her handiwork somehow. It's merely a feeling, though. I'd like to look into it further, if possible. Something tells me the Imperial soldiers won't wait around patiently while we go off hunting for clues. Perhaps you should send a separate unit to investigate, while we attend to the Empire. Yeah, that's probably better. Yes, that would be prudent for now. We cannot afford to lower our guard for even a moment. Okay. That was strange, though. What the heck is up with that? Okay. Next place is right here. Oh, that's a lot of territory. Six places? Oh, boy. That's more than uh, five. And more than four. <laughs> okay, that's where the event lies. Seems that we have to go quite a ways down if we just want to get the extra stuff. I guess if we wanted to, we could like speed run and get the whole thing done in like two things. Hey, Shez, have you heard? Have I heard what? Okay, uh, hold on. Let me get my supplies first. <laughs> supply master, woohoo, give me the supplies. Thank you. Let's see. Okay, so I might like do a little bit of, uh, no. Uh, I might do a little bit of in between grinding. But before that, I think I want to... What do I want to do, actually? Uh, I want to go to, I guess, the item shopkeeper. I'll, like, buy out everything they have. I buy out everything they have every time. Okay. Can we please get infinite of those? I want infinite uh, of those seals. Okay. So, what I'm going to do in between episodes is probably, you know, grind up a little bit, just because I always do that. But I'm also going to try and get, like, A ranks within these two chapters as well. Just so that I can, uh, you know, do that. So in the next battles. episode, we will chat with everybody, do our support conversations, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, I guess look forward to that. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.